Hey guys, my name's Zach and I'm going to talk a little bit about the Alf Tree snow climbing plates today. These plates are super awesome because they're light, they pack really well. You can use them without a cramp on, you can use them with a cramp on on top of the plate or a cramp on underneath the plate. A couple things I do want to point out, these plates aren't meant to climb sideways to the slope. In this orientation, they flex softly this way. So never climb with your plates sideways to the snow. And in general, just kind of got to use common sense here when we're using these technical kind of more advanced snow climbing materials. So be smart out there and we'll show you how to use these the best possible ways. I like to keep my snow climbing plates right in here in this compartment near my avalanche tools. An important note here, make sure that you still can easily access all of your avalanche tools wherever you choose to store your plates. I keep mine right here, nice and easy to get out. So when I get to where I need to put the plates on, I'll usually take the plates out, put my backpack in the snow like so. Got my crampons here, and I'll kind of just lean against the slope with my backpack. I'll get my crampons out, make sure we keep track of everything. And then this is kind of the first step here. We're gonna identify which plate we're using. So here on the side, you can see there's a R. So this is our right snow climbing plate. The other way you can tell is these two points are slightly offset. This one is lower than this one. The taller of the two points goes on the outside of your foot. So this is gonna be my right foot like this. For mounting our crampons underneath the plate, I'm gonna take my heel bell here and feed it up through the bottom of the heel of the plate. Depending on the size of your crampon and boot, you're either gonna come in front of this cross pattern or behind it. You need to decide which one fits your boot best and we'll talk more about that in just a second. So I feed the heel bell of the crampon through and you can see right now the points of my crampons are maybe just an inch or a few centimeters above the front of the plate. So we don't want our crampon to be way out here and we don't want our crampon to be like this. Just right here in the middle is a good spot. Grab the crampon, you can see this is kind of like a sturdy setup now. Make sure I clear all the snow out of my boot. Get the crampon in here. And then at this point the crampon is pretty well, the whole assembly is pretty well secured. The next step, I'm gonna go ahead and tighten my crampon. And then this strap, in this orientation, the strap isn't really doing much, but it's important to put it out of the way so that it's not getting in our way when we climb. So I'm gonna go ahead and just strap it like this. So now we're ready to climb with the crampon underneath our plate. And this is the orientation that I use probably 90% of the time, either like this or with just my foot on top of the plate without a crampon, which we'll cover in just a moment. So when it's time to take the plate and crampon off, you just re reverse the process. You're gonna undo the strap, undo the crampon, and just make sure you keep track of everything when you're taking this off. Don't let things fly around. So you can see that's a nice, smooth, easy way to use them underneath. So the next thing I wanna show you how to do is how to use the plate with the crampon fixed to your boot. Now this can be really useful if you're going back and forth between climbing rocks and climbing snow or climbing ice and climbing snow or if you have a breakable crust where the snow is really supportable sometimes and then you start wallowing in and you wanna go back and forth between having the plate and not having the plate. So this, I'm just gonna start like you normally would, attaching the crampon. All right, now we've got the crampon secured. I'm gonna take the plate and I'm gonna fit the plate in between. And this is different for every, every size boot, every crampon is gonna be a little bit different. So we just wanna make sure that the crampon is secured to the plate in the least impactful way to these cords. So we don't want to have the cords sitting on the front of the points of the crampon or anything like that. So as you're doing this, just make sure you're keeping a, hold, a good hold of the plate here. I'm gonna put the strap through the harness. Tighten this down, and now we're ready to climb. This is nice and secure. So then if we reach a point where we want the plate off, it's super easy. Just pop this off and we're back to a crampon. So one thing that I like to do if I'm in a situation where I have the crampon on my boot and I'm going back and forth between just using a crampon and having the plate on as well, I've got this little carabiner that I keep on my backpack for mostly for my gloves, but I'll just clip these plates here and store them to my strap and they stay pretty well out of the way back here while you're booting around and then when it's time to use them again, it's pretty easy to get them out once again. One of my favorite parts about these plates is the fact that you can use them with or without a crampon. 
So for my plate, I've added these two little loops of cord here to the back to make my life a little bit easier. It's not 100% necessary to do this, but if you plan on using your plates a lot without a cramp on for pow surfing or side country access or just booting up pow where you know you're not gonna need crampons, I would recommend just adding these little cords here to the harness. So this one is my left foot here. I've gotten to my transition and I need to grab a volet strap to complete this. I keep a volet strap here in my hip pocket to make this nice and easy. So to get started, I'm gonna fit the plate to my boot in a manner that the toe is pretty much level with the front of the plate. So this can be accomplished a number of ways. You can put the plate down in the snow, you can hold it in your hand, I'll usually put it down in the snow. So we've got our boot here, we're gonna run the strap over the top of the boot to get started. And this is pretty darn secure right, right here. For a lot of times this could work just fine. I like to have just a little bit of extra security when I put these on. And so I'm gonna add a volet strap here to the rear of the plate boot assembly. So we're gonna start with running the volet strap through one side, then it's gonna come over here to the other. Pass this through our strap. <clears throat> And now we've got a super, super secure setup. One volet strap in the rear, one in the top. You can see this is not going anywhere. Once you get both straps on, it's good to retighten everything and just make sure that it's fitting in a good way. And just a quick note here, all the techniques that we've covered today, these are gonna work with a soft shelled boot, they're gonna work with a hard shelled boot, whether that's snowboarding, skiing, pal surfing, whatever it is you wanna do. The things that are important are keeping the front of the boot close to the front of the plate and keeping the crampon points similar in that orientation. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful for you. Feel free to email us if you've got any questions beyond what we've covered here today. And uh, we hope that these plates help you in the backcountry as much as they've helped us. Happy boot packing.